morning we're going to learn how to take the power of a number in T-SQL. And this is actually fairly useful in financial calculations as well as um, engineering calculations. So uh, we're going to use some simple examples first and then we'll use one uh, which actually applies to table columns. So the first couple I want to use is um, just two straight numbers. Everybody knows that the 10 um, squared is 100, which is what this is, is the power, of op the power operator is power, and then in parentheses we're going to pass in the number that we're going to power, and then to, to what power that is. So 10 squared is 100, uh, 10 cubed is 1,000, right? So this is cubed, and then this is 4 to the power of 5. So let's go ahead and look at these, and we'll see that, of course, 10 squared is 100, 10 cubed is 1,000, and then 4 to the power of 5 equals 1,024. Okay, so that's great and all. What about if we wanted to look at it on an actual table? So let's go ahead and do that. So let's select star from our table algorithms. And let's look at some numerical values here. And you'll notice we have two values. And you'll notice in this next one, the one below, this select statement, we have 1 minus the power of value 2 divided by value 1 to the fourth power. So this is going to take this value divided by this value. Then when that division is done, we're going to take that to the fourth power, and then we're going to subtract 1 from it. So what this demonstrates really is just what we can do um, with our power operators. In other words, we can now take, I'm sorry, this power operator, we can actually pass in column values, and we could even pass in, for instance, a larger equation. Uh, for instance, we could take um, a value 2 divided by value 1, and then we could multiply this times 5. Uh, let's see here. Okay, and then we could go ahead, and then, of course, this is going to take this value, this return value, to the power of 5, and you'll see it just keeps going higher up and higher up and higher up. Not as far as values. These are negative values, of course. But it can return larger numbers or whatnot. So one of the things is that if you're looking for like financial calculations or engineering equations, this, this is something that you can do in SQL Server. And again, the, the syntax in the parentheses is going to be the value that you're actually going to take to that power and then what power you're going to take it to after the comma. 